Hey guys, Devin Tech Tips, otherwise known as Galaxy here. Coming to you from my apartment. It's been a while since I've uploaded. And honestly, I really only make videos when I have an idea. And today, I do have an idea. Because there's a lot of Vive owners out there. Yeah, that's right. The original black headset with the thing, you know, it looks something like this. Now, this headset, they, they make cables for them, but not anymore. So you used to have, you have this headset, you have three connectors. You have your power, or no, HDMI, USB 3.0, and power, and your headphones. This is not a concern. Power and USB last almost indefinitely on these three-in-ones. But one thing that I've noticed that is a key weak point of this headset is this HDMI connection. Oftentimes, right here and here, see it, it just it bends. Either it gets a kink somewhere in, along the cable. Now, for starters... One thing you can do to prolong the life of your cable, always, and I mean always, unplug it and give it a little twirl. Unplug it from the computer and then do this. Don't unplug it from the headset, but kind of do that. And then it'll untangle itself. You'll have no issues, or you shouldn't, at least for a little bit. Now, let's say you have a Vive cable, and it's starting to black out. You're, the, the signal is starting to not go through properly. Well, what you'll want to do then is, since you can't buy... Basically, what you'll want to do, since HTC doesn't make these cables anymore, is you'll want to run what's called a donor line, or a piggyback line, or you know, a jerry-rig, or whatever you want to call it. But as you can see, with this Vive, you'd want to take your headset, and you can route these through however you like, but typically, right here, so when you're routing it, what you want to do is you want to take this connection, say you have a bad cable, so the HDMI, the video signal's cutting out, right here, cut it, cut right here, clean off with scissors, just right here. Or you can cut as close to this base here as you can. This connection right here, as close to that base as you can. Now, basically, you'll take your HDMI, that'll be cut off, right? So you don't have this, you have these two. And I'm about to get into how you fix this in just a second. So you run your power, check. You run your USB. Double check. Okay, power, USB. Now, that this part of your cable, that's broken. What do I do about this? Well, what you wanna do is you wanna head over to a, web, to a website that I'm sure you know, it's called Amazon. You're going to want to search for a 15 foot ultra thin connector it should look something like this or something thin basically something that's about as thin as the connector itself or close to it and you want to make sure the length of this part of it is to a minimum this base coming up because you want to bend this cable as soon as possible so it can clear this top cover here so let's say you bought your long cable you're ready to go how do you do it Take it, put it through right here, and you plug in your HDMI, right? Just like so. And look, since it's a short cable, it's making proper clearance. It looks pretty good. Simply plug it in, 
Do that. You're good to go. You just base oh, so basically what you'll do, one more thing. So you're good to go, right? You've cut this connector off. You have your donor line running. You have your cable. Now what do you do? To actually make it so the two cables don't flop around. Basically, you'll want to zip tie this cable maybe here, here, and maybe like every, oh, I'd say every two feet have a zip tie. And still, the same rule applies that when you have your headset, uh, you put it down, you're done using it, always take your cable. Unplug it from the computer or your link box or wherever it's plugged into, not from the headset. Whirl it around, untangle it. You don't have to do that every time. But if you notice that the cable's getting any uh, tangly at all, it's generally a good idea to unplug it and let out some of that tension in the rubber. That'll allow your cable to last a lot longer. What I just told you, running a separate HDMI cable and cutting off the old HDMI and zip tying the two cables together, that's a method I really haven't seen a lot of people using. Or at least I haven't heard of it. I myself have actually tested this method and actually got one of these cables, these jerry rig cables, to last about six months. So, for 20 bucks, six months, I'd say it's a worthy investment to get a new cable instead of buying an entirely new headset. I hope this video was helpful to any of the few Vive users that are still out there. And I'll see you guys around. Any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll gladly answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content, and I'll be back at some point in the future. Peace.